be sure you are set up for success before we dive into wilderness safety and medicine. There are a few items that you should always carry if you are adventuring in the outdoors, even if it's just a short day trip. These items are commonly known as the 10 essentials and were proposed originally by the mountaineers. These recommendations should be seen more as categories, making it much more customized and flexible. Some of these items may be used regularly on each adventure, while others may be needed only rarely or in an emergency. But when they are needed, they are invaluable. In no particular order, here are the essential categories for the items that should be carried in the wilderness. Light source, medical kit, hydration, food, insulation, navigation, sun protection, repair items, fire starting items, emergency shelter, and communication. You may have noticed that there's more than 10 listed here. Why is that? Base Medical has added communication as the 11th item or category to the list as it is crucial for emergency situations and is important in everyday life. But before we dive into that, let's go over each component of the list. A light source can be a lantern, a flashlight, a headlamp, a candle. Even if you will just be out for a day, it is good to have a light source. If things do not go as planned, darkness can make things a whole lot worse. A simple hike out can prove to be nearly impossible in the dark and increase the odds of injury or getting lost. We prefer a headlamp as opposed to other light source options. Headlamps are lightweight and much more compact with more illumination power, plus they're hands-free, which is very useful if you have to navigate difficult terrain or carry other things or your injured partner. A first aid kit is useful for minor but common issues experienced in the wilderness. This may include small cuts, poison IV contact, headaches, or a rolled angle. It's also useful in more serious situations like heavy bleeding, hypothermia, or broken bones. Help is often farther away than you think. Even locations near the trailhead or close to the city can be difficult to access by rescue teams. Unfortunately, many who carry a first aid kit do not know how to fully use it or are using it improperly. Furthermore, many pre-made store-bought first aid kits could be better tailored and more suitable for wilderness adventures. We always recommend customizing your first aid kit to meet the needs of each adventure. Not only should you always have at least one liter of water, but you should also have the capability to carry more water or treat water to make it drinkable. This is very true for longer outings, like a multi-day backpacking trip. In addition to one liter, a hard plastic water bottle or water bladder, we love flexible foldable water bottles. When not in use, these bottles take up no space and weigh next to nothing. They are handy when you need to fill up with more water if your next water source is further away or uncertain. They are also great at camp to store extra water that you have already boiled or melted. And if you lose your other water bottle, at least you have a backup. But of course, a water bladder system is also an option. It all depends on the activity. On longer trips, be sure to have a way of making water drinkable. This could be a stove, Sterilite, filtration system, tablets, etc. In addition to the food you plan to eat, have extra non-perishable, easy to prepare calories with you, preferably a half day or a day's worth. This can be as simple as packing an extra freeze dried meal, energy bars or trail mix. Dried potato soup, couscous, ramen noodles, and oatmeal are all possible non-perishable options that can easily be carried as an extra meal, but do not absolutely require hot water for cooking. Weather and temperature can quickly change in the backcountry. Always carry warm, insulating clothes. Depending on the environment, this may include a jacket, gloves, and a warm hat. A large amount of heat is lost through the head. A minimalist windproof skull cap can really make a big difference. 
down or synthetic jackets are a fantastically warm, lightweight, and compact option. My Patagonia down sweater packs down to the size of an apple. I never adventure without it, even on a recent climbing trip in the Moroccan desert. I was happy to have it when the sun dipped below the horizon. A topographic map of the area you are traveling in and a compass are basic old school components of a backcountry navigation system. But in today's world of GPS technology that can fit in our pocket or on our wrist, is this old school map and compass a thing of the past? It most certainly is not. Technology can fail. On trips longer than a day, it's a good idea to carry at least a topo map. It's as simple as pressing print in a lot of cases. This category probably gets overlooked the most. Think about it. How much of your outdoor comfort and even your survival depends on functional gear and equipment? You will not get a good night's rest on a deflated sleeping pad or in a leaky tent. Or how will you manage when your ski binding needs to be adjusted while in the backcountry? Repair tools and items are there to get you out of such binds. This may include repair tape, duct tape, a multi-tool, a knife, a spare Velcro strap, paracord, sewing kit, and the list goes on. Again, tailor it to your needs and the equipment you're carrying. This may include sunglasses, sunscreen, protective sun clothing. Sunglasses are invaluable, especially in environments with high sun glare, like from snow, ice, sand, or water. Lenses with 100% UV protection are ideal. It's always worth while to carry an extra pair. Shoot, you can even buy foldable sunglasses for under 10 bucks on Amazon to have in your pack as a backup. This is highly recommended for trips where not having eye protection can be crippling. Sunscreen and sun protective clothing is another necessity. Sunscreen seems to be an easy thing to forget or leave in the car at the trailhead. We recommend always carrying a small amount with you. Sunscreen packets are a great lightweight option and take up very little space. At the very least, carry waterproof matches in a waterproof container or bag. Lighters are fine, but they can fail. Flint and other sparking fire starters are fine as well. However, they may weigh more. Matches are good to have as a backup. There were two guys that were very thankful I had backup matches when we were on the Isle of Skye and they could not light their stove because they forgot the lighter at home. Thankfully, I came across them and they were able to have a warm dinner that night. In addition to matches, have some sort of fire starter with you to help make a fire. This could be old laundry lint and candle wax, dry tinder, or fire priming paste. It is very useful in wet conditions where dry tinder materials are hard to find. An emergency shelter is different than a tent or bivy, which will most likely be carried by someone on a long, multi-day trip. An emergency shelter is something that is meant to be carried on a day trip or when away from camp. As stated earlier, conditions can change quickly in the backcountry. An emergency shelter can offer protection from wet conditions because staying dry is critical and can provide warmth by trapping in heat and reducing wind chill and evaporation. An emergency shelter can be a bivy, a tarp, a space blanket, or even a large trash bag. Unfortunately, ultra lightweight tarps can be expensive, so we cut two large trash bags and then sewed them together. Great alternative. A quick word about space blankets. These are great in that they are small and lightweight, only a few ounces. But if you plan to use it as an emergency shelter, be sure it is durable enough and large enough. Some are very flimsy and tear easily, or are just too small to be functional. Stay tuned for a future video comparing different space blankets available on the market. Base Medical has added one more item to the list, a communication device. This may be a cell phone, radio, signaling mirror, or personal locator beacon. In the most minimal form, it could be a whistle, if you experience an emergency, the chances are that you will need outside help because it will be beyond your capability. Having a means of communication can mean the difference between life and death. 
but it should also not be heavily relied upon, creating a false sense of security. This list should not be translated into thoughts of bulk or added weight. The 11 essential items can be tailored down to a lightweight system and is necessary for responsible outdoor recreation. Most of the items are already in your pack anyway, like a water bottle, sunglasses, a jacket, and your cell phone. You may just need to add a few things to complete your list. As always, from Base Medical to you, stay safe.